Okay, so now looking at our um, edge, our counter coming and going. Again, this is the same thing. And before you, all we were using a regular switch um, branch. Okay, and so now I want to show you a different block, and it's in basic elements. And so if you scroll down, you can see there are some other commands down there. Right, and this is the one we're looking for. This is an edge triggered input. And so if you right click on it, you can see um, a chain. You can change it to wait for a one, to wait for a zero, um, or to wait for a zero to one, or a one to zero, or either way. All right, so what we want to do is use that zero to one since we t I typically make things normally open okay and I'm gonna do it for I1 all right so what this is gonna do is nothing is going to happen basically until I1 is pressed and changes from a 0 to a 1 because I'm trying to eliminate the need for that um, little timer that's not very elegant or a very good solution and when you have dead time and things what happens is you end up just you could get trapped in there while something else was happening just like you saw in my example all right and so I've written this program to basically um, do this so you see if I want to check the other switch okay that we have connected I2 all right. Um, when I try to do this, I can't see it won't let me connect back there. All right, and so there really isn't a great way to have it look at both things because it's not going to look at the other one until that one's pressed. So it will get stuck there. Okay. So what we really are going to do here is basically start two programs simultaneously. And neither of these programs is actually going to have an end either. So when it does this, all right, it's going to just cycle back to the top and wait. And because it's looking for that edge change, we're not going to see that increment or have the need for that timer. All right. So I'm going to start this. And I'm going to put this over to the side. And now I'm going to start my program running. And now it's waiting. And when the switch changes status here, you'll see that my counter increments. All right? So every time it changes to a 1, you know, I hold it and release it. You can see that they increment, okay? So this is a much more elegant solution than the solution you had used before. So this is the edge triggered counter.